Welcome to a new video guys. We're going to be diving into everything that is working in 2024 in the e-commerce space right now. And the reason I want to shoot this video is because the audio that I'm currently using or editing in this video is a little bit off. So I wanted to give you a precursor to the audio quality, but nevertheless, the quality and the content in this video is what's working for our multi seven figure brand that we run today. And also the other brands that we also manage and run all of their marketing for. So this video is super relevant. It's talking about what is actually working in 2024 and you'll be able to take some really good takeaways from here that you can implement today into what you're doing and the strategies that you're currently implementing and actually showcasing to you what's really working today. So without further ado, hopefully you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. People are doing millions with TikTok shop right now and we're doing this video today talking about having a discussion on the impact that TikTok has had not only in our own e-commerce company, but also the brands we work with. I'm here with Andrew, my marketing director, right-hand man. He does a lot of many things for our companies. And um, we're out here in Florida having a good time. We thought we'd, you know, heading back to Miami, we thought we'd film something talking about TikTok shop, sharing a little bit with people about how they can get started with TikTok shop, how big of an opportunity this is, and ultimately, how they can make millions as well. Because right now we're trying to stay as cutting edge as possible with TikTok shop. And so we're here to share all the details with you. So, um, Andrew, welcome, man. You Dude, it's well ex- today? I'm doing great, man. It's uh, 98 degrees out right now <laughs> here, uh, Fort Myers, heading to Miami. Um, but, you know, fortunate enough to be in this uh, GT. Yeah. And uh, it's been a fun trip so far with it. Come um, a long way, haven't we? You've dude, lost 12 months. It's crazy, man, honestly. And being as heavily involved in TikTok as we have been <laughs> and the progressments and shop man like it's put us in a great position the last yes. you know six months or so like it's been crazy and yeah it's Especially funny off, like, like, like TikTok shop partner uh, badge too exactly right? yeah. dude shop partner ads partner everything now dude it's crazy and it's funny dude we, we were you were talking about this the other day but yeah even a year ago man you you had said like when we first found out about shop that they're positioning themselves with a little bit of a pull here from the GT <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to, be, <laughs> to be the next Amazon. You've been saying this forever, dude. And what did we find out just the other day? Uh, they officially, um, I guess Amazon FBA sellers are able to fulfill TikTok shop orders directly yep. from from Amazon, which Absolutely is insane. massive. I mean, Amazon's seeing how big TikTok shop is and how TikTok is. Yep. And they know that if they don't, uh, I guess, fold, they, they may become, you know, literally. Uh, TikTok may, may out, outcompete them, honestly. The, the traction that TikTok has had the last few years has been insane. So they're, they're like, yeah, we're on board too. Even exactly. Amazon. Yeah. It, it's just incredible to think because the way the TikTok algorithm works and like it's been, you know, it's changed over time and everything, but it's like the potential for a platform that has as high of engagement and just overall audience base and potential to go viral has also a selling and shop platform integrated with it that you can literally link on top of those videos that go insanely viral. Like how insane is that? Like it would literally be the equivalent of Amazon adding a for you page. And allowing you to put, like think about how insane that actually is in your head, you know what I mean? And that's what TikTok has done here because they're so strict with their sellers, they require uh, fulfillment within two days. it's put them in a competition with Amazon. And Amazon had no choice but to, you know, work with them in some capacity, you yeah. know, and it's it's incredible. So at the very least, you know, they'll obviously be profiting off it in some way now. Yeah, but they, I mean, it's they have them to fees, do it. right? Yeah. Like they have, I think their fees right now are 8% to 12%, depending on the category. But then, yeah. you know, you've got TikTok shop fees on top of that. They just increased that fee to, I think, around 8%, which is yeah. actually crazy. Um, but, you know, everyone get a piece of the pie, you know, so I guess like, you know, this video, our plan is to kind of like share some of our thoughts around these topics, uh, maybe getting some of the nitty gritty of the things that we're actually doing that's really working for us and, and the brands we're working with. Like right now, we just brought on someone who's doing, what, 50,000 pounds 50, a month on TikTok yeah. shop. Yeah. Um, we'll talk about them a little bit and, you know, ultimately just kind of give you guys a bit of a roadmap or a plan on maybe how you can take advantage of it if you're already selling or maybe you're even a new seller this should work for you too but yeah excited to kind of dive into things 100% so I guess um, 
ask you this, Andrew. You know, last like I know twelve months. Yeah. Um, I guess since September of last year, TikTok Shop was officially launched. Yeah. And ever since then, we've kind of been wanting to be a bigger, bigger part of uh, the TikTok Shop world. Yeah. Right? We've always had an agency ad partner, um, but the new TikTok Shop partner. Like, what what have you noticed in joining that program? Like. How much of a big deal this is, and how many resources TikTok's deploying yeah. to TikTok Shop, and, and what are your thoughts kind of about the future? It, it's unbelievable. We have a platform um, that they invited both Jordan and I on to as you know X Factor, representing everything with e-comics we have going on. But it's not only given us a communication channel to a community of shop partners, which is very thin at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of incredible how tight knit the program is. But within that type of program, because there's the amount of people that's a part of it, um, the resources we have access to are immense. We, so we have a community chat uh, that we can get in and conversate with other partners on. We have dedicated reps that help with the advertising side, the shop side, and to be more specific, you know, if you need to make optimizations within shop, if you need to uh, have some questions answered on the SEO side of things and product optimization side of things. I mean, they have a partner and a rep that will directly respond to us about every single aspect of it. There is, well, uh, uh, right now we got five or six different partners we work with. Yeah, yeah, and like, it's insane. They'll deploy more resources to us the more GMV we bring them, right? So like, yep. the biggest KPI in TikTok shop is GMV, which yep. is basically gross merchandise value. So. Much similar to you know how you generate revenue through Shopify, GMV is a term that's used very heavily in the DTC space, um, and it, it's something that you need to become more familiar with because you know with TikTok Shop, that's how they measure basically everything is yeah. your know, gross merchandise value or rebel revenue basically. So when you guys are getting on the platform and you see that term, that's what it means, and we're very much tied to those results and performance of the GMV. Uh, with our shop partners so um, as we continue to grow they're going to continue to put more resources to those partners who are helping yeah. people whether it's migrating them to tiktok shop adding an additional sales channel and they have all sorts of you know uh, training and 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 help you know we get to book calls with some of the members from tiktok and work with some of the higher ups of tiktok honestly so it's really important to build those relationships at least, at least for us we've noticed that it's become a very big important part yeah but I think that overall, the biggest takeaway is that TikTok isn't going anywhere. <laughs> They're continuing to invest into e-commerce because if we really think about it at a high level, think about it, it's a company that needs to make money. How is that company making money, right? You've got a company like Snapchat who's been out for, I mean, who knows how long, over a decade oh, now, it's been a right? Time, yeah. And they are still not a profitable company, which is absolutely crazy to me, right? And so the approach that TikTok is taking with the growth of e-commerce sales over the last you know decade, if they can just take a small piece of that pie, just like Amazon's doing, yeah. that's how they're going to become big and they're going to continue to make larger amounts of revenue where they're providing opportunities for sellers, just like you and us, to sell products to customers. And so that's why they're investing most of the infrastructure, their time, their resources into you know, offering coupons where they're losing money, giving out ad credits to get people on because they exactly. know once they get people on, they're going to be either, you know, around to use the platform for a long time or they may give it a test, you know, test the waters a little bit and come back later if, you know, maybe they don't work out. It's getting people familiar with the culture of how TikTok works. So I think that that's very evident, yeah. you know. 100%. Yeah. And it's like in addition to the power and of the team that they've given us access to. Like, the, the features that they've developed, I mean, dude, literally even in the last six months, um, and other really cool things that they showed us at the uh, TikTok oh, partner event we went to at New York City, um, brought us out to the headquarters. You guys will be seeing that video uh, pretty soon. Yeah. Um, but the tidbits they gave us and stuff coming in September is super, super exciting. Um, but just in the last six months, what they've done with the affiliate program in the back end of the seller center now is absolutely unbelievable because it's turned to a point where, you know, previously in the past, you know, there's software and there's websites and companies that allow you to communicate with creators and UGC um, to make 
content, but it's always something that you had to directly pay out of pocket for or take a risk on in terms of the quality of the content, the creators. Um, it's been a super pain to even coordinate the logistical end of sending them the product, right? What they have set up now that I think has, has got me so excited is the affiliate center. And the reason being because content is king with short form now. Like that's the most important part of you obviously generating revenue on these platforms. Yeah, and actually let's come back to that topic after yeah. affiliate stuff too. Yeah, and what what's so unique about what TikTok has set up now is even more so for people new to the platform, it now gives you the opportunity to search kind of through a marketplace of creators, but to also put an ad up and send your products live with the affiliate center to where you set the commission you want on the product that the creator is going to get. A typical 10, maybe 20% is very incentivizing for creators to want to make a video and they'll request a free sample. You send them the product and then they post the content. Not only do you get the content to repurpose on other platforms and run as paid ads if it does well, but when they do go viral, it generates an insane amount of sales for you, pushing more to your shop, generating GMV, and then so on and so forth, the process repeats. I mean, it's to the point now when we're executing this system for our clients, we're sending out about a thousand messages a day. And let's say in any given case, even 5% of those messages are applied to and you send free samples to, that's 50 creators in one day that just made content for your product and multiply by whatever amount of views that you know, turns into. I mean, it's there's just so many moving parts and so much potential if you're utilizing every aspect of TikTok now that it blows my mind. And with that much potential, with the love that the sellers actually have for this platform, because people that do take full advantage of this are reaping incredible rewards. It's yeah. really insane what we've seen on the back end with oh, yeah. the people we've worked with and the partners we've talked to. Yeah. And I just, there's no world in the near future where TikTok's not going to stick around. There really yeah. isn't. No, I agree. And I think that it's the, the affiliate programs and, you know, affiliate affiliate programs and UGC content is not something that's necessarily new, but it's the way in which you can simultaneously build your brand and also generate sales, yeah. right? You're getting people who other people trust to then create content for you around your products that then creates this ripple effect, right? Yeah. Now, with Gamedics and our brand... You know, we, we've been able to generate over a billion views, right? I don't know how many how many impressions exactly, but that impact and that ripple effect of people seeing our content and getting to know who we are has had a massive impact on the ability we've had to grow and be familiar yeah. with people, right? And bring returning customers back. And so if, if you're wanting to really maximize your, you know, whether, you, whether you're selling a dropshipping product or you have a brand that you're starting up, it's so important that you're focused on content because at the end of the day, no matter what way you look at it, you need to have good video content, right? Like, there's a bigger barrier to entry to TikTok, and I think that that just makes it a bigger window of opportunity for you. And so, when you can combine what Andrew's talking about, the affiliate program, where you don't have to necessarily make the content, you're able to leverage other creators, and you're able to, inside of the platform, have commission payouts where you don't have to manage a back end and it just gets it done automatically. Yep. There's never been an easier time to maximize and use creators. Exactly. And so the content creation piece of this whole picture here is that we've noticed that you know, we get to talk with you know brand owners, agency owners, lots of different people. And one of the biggest bottlenecks that a lot of people have is content. Yep. They don't understand one, how to make it. Two, they don't know how to film it correctly and edit it correctly. Yeah. And it's not created in a way that feels authentic and doesn't feel exactly. so staged, you know, it's so high production, right? Yeah. And that's the age we live in today. If you are doing traditional commercials or trying to make ads where you're talking about the brand in the first five seconds or, you know, you feel that it's an ad in the first three seconds, yeah. then you're doing something wrong, exactly. right? And so... Maybe you can talk to them, Andrew, right? you want to share yeah. a little bit about like our philosophy, I guess, with yeah. content and why we've gone so heavy on this authentic approach. Yeah. No, definitely. And I think there's there's a lot of different aspects to it. I, I think one of the biggest things is, you know, people have gotten so, I don't know what the word, I want to say entitled in a way, right? Or, or like, 
the ego behind some people to be like, oh, the audacity for an ad to show up on my For You page, right? <laughs> like, but yeah. it's like, you know, because they have such short attention spans and they're scrolling through all this content and it's like, when a video pops up, if it's not something you're interested in or it feels like you're being sold on it, right? Like, majority of the time, it's probably something you don't even care to see, so you just keep scrolling. But it's like, at one point, there are so many ads and products on your For You page, like, you really couldn't blame people for just wanting to swipe past yeah, right? Right. But the, the point is, is, like, if you can get around that feeling to where you're scrolling along and it looks like a traditional ad, right, if you get past that and it just looks like another video of somebody on TikTok, super authentic, no, like, crazy high-quality camera with insane light setups and moving environments parts pieces, right? If it's just a video where it's somebody sitting there, like, Oh, I just saw this product the other day, um, and I ordered it just to see, you know, what would happen. I didn't really have any high expectations, but uh, I've been doing this, you know, once a month. Order some cool product I see on shop, and uh, come on here and review review it for you guys. But this one really blew me away. Um, it's got X, Y, Z, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. I'm super excited about it. Wanted to show you guys, right? Yeah. Like, it starts out super unauthentic. And, you know, especially if the product is crazy and sells itself, yeah. that combination is what's doing so well now. I mean, sure. when we first got started um, and when you began early on with TikTok ads, you still saw a lot of success in that kind of product focused angle. Granted, yes. you were really creative with the stuff that you made. So there was a lot Jordan already had going for himself experience wise and the angles and positions he was taking. It's not... It's not like he was just running traditional ads, right? Yeah. Like, you, you're still very creative, but yeah. even from that to the angles we take now, we've doubled, if not tripled, our ROAS on some occasions. Oh, it's yeah. unbelievable. By transitioning to that UGC angle. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. yeah, content has, has become everything. And, you know, if you can scale content, um, you've got a system that you can scale, like the, the affiliate program is what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can really do some damage, you know, very quickly, you know. And I think that this brings us to kind of the next topic I wanted to talk about here. We've talked about this many times. And I think it's good. I think it's good for the e-commerce industry because I think it's flushing out a lot of um, a lot of people that don't really take this seriously and don't really actually know what building an e-commerce business is really about. People think that building an e-commerce company is about finding a product and drop shipping it now while it may be an entry point it should not be the end yeah. goal yeah and so too many people don't understand that your entire intention and goal should be to find a product that you can develop and build into something that people actually want to come back and buy yeah not just order stuff from china they get it in the mail then they feel a little bit you know iffy about the product quality and they're never going to buy from you again because you know your product's not up to par, right? Mm -hmm. you got to work and develop on your, your product. But the other biggest part of this whole situation is that TikTok shop does not allow for 10 to 14 day delivery. And so there's two reasons for this. One is they need to be able to compete with Amazon in order to basically become number one down the road, yeah. right? They can't have less than two days shipping. Yeah. And so that's why they have such strict strict policy, which honestly is really frustrating. I know. There's a lot you have to do to really keep everything in good standing. Yeah. But two, it gets rid of all the drop shippers, yeah. which in turn opens a massive door for a new system and a new strategy yeah. for people to find a way to be able to fulfill orders quickly and there is a higher barrier to entry now because people need to have some money to invest right. in order to start TikTok shop products. Exactly. And I like that. Yeah. You know, I, I do like that because it's kind of it's kind of cleansing the e-commerce industry but I feel yeah. like there's so much crap out there man. Yeah. And I think that it's going to be really good because it's a win-win right? The seller is incentivized to have a really great product hold a really good customer standing and, and good like seller rating right and in turn customers get better quality products yep exactly and, and it's not to say you can't capitalize on tiktok if you drop ship it's yeah, very it's, obvious yeah. like an insane platform just using the ads managers or manager traditionally yeah uh, and also posting organic yeah component yeah. all of exactly that, but yeah that's yeah. just the way to take what we've coined as the tiktok trifecta yes all into working unison if you yeah. can hit all three angles where you're posting organically, generating um, awareness and, and sales through there, 
um, selling on shop and then just running traditional ads, pushing to a Shopify website or, you know, whatever platform you're on, those three angles all put together really make for, you know, an insane amount of potential. And we've seen some uh, lives change pretty recently from that. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. It's some 14-year-old kids doing 50 grand a month on TikTok shop. Absolutely 14. insane. 14 years old. Absolutely crazy. So Windows, you know, opportunity is wide open. But I wanted to ask you a little bit about um, the, the organic side of things. Yeah. What have you noticed with our brands and, and the clients we've worked with so far about the impact of organic on ad performance? Yeah, I mean, time and time again, we've seen that when a client of ours is active posting organically, especially if it's daily, um, results are impacted significantly and it's it's noticeable inside of the ad manager even just sending them to Shopify in you know some way shape or form the algorithm and data from the pixel and everything's kind of intertwined in the sense that it's been cut and clear if you're posting content and the awareness is there on TikTok so that people are seeing you when they scroll organically then they see you when they're scrolling and your ad pops up they already recognize you they already feel that trust that's been built right if you're posting organically and there's you know x amount of people that are following you and interacting with your content every day when an ad comes across their timeline they're not going to think it's an ad right away right? right but now all of a sudden they watch the video they're engaged they're used to seeing you but now there's a shop now that button there and you have an offer for a discount or whatever it is they're like oh yeah okay I want to buy this now, yeah. you know? But even more so, if you're posting content daily and you have a shop set up as well, you can post the products on there, obviously. But TikTok's incentivizing those posts to have products linked on them. So obviously TikTok takes a percentage of the sales. So why would they not want to boost videos that have products linked to them, right? Yeah. The more videos they boost that have good brands and good products linked to them, the more money they're going to make. So the algorithm certainly favoring videos that have shop products linked on them, especially live streams. Oh, if you yeah. have a live uh, shop feed rate uh, set up, then you know you get to the top of the rankings pretty quick. Oh, it's yeah. insane. But all in all, through and through, without a doubt, focusing on making that content, posting it organically, is going to benefit your other systems 100%. And it also kind of proves as a testing ground for you to see what content you should put spend behind too which is another part of that whole system that just makes too much sense, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah, so we talked a little about content. We've talked a little about the impact of, you know, uh, TikTok ads, opportunity with TikTok shop. Um, I guess let's um, let's talk about some, maybe we can dive into a little bit of like strategy. I know we talked a little bit about strategy, but like maybe we can talk about strategy a little bit and how we're approaching kind of one trying to find products on TikTok yeah. that you can sell and actually scale and then two like where do you where does someone start how do they either add an additional sales channel or get started with TikTok and as a whole um, so let, let's start with products first right so typically there are certain requirements that a lot of people in the space will recommend that you look for yeah. um, that qualifies a good product now, what we have found in our experience is that some of the most impactful products are products that have some sort of a wow factor. And this is usually done through, um, if the piece or the product itself looks really good and it's eye-catching or it does something strange or unique or different, then oftentimes we find that they do perform better. Um, and so you really have to, one, make sure you're spending time on TikTok, like consciously thinking about what you're looking at and, and trying to understand why videos go viral and you know, looking at products that are on there, what people are talking about, because I guarantee you every post that you see where you get tied into like someone talking about a product that's on the TikTok shop or on their TikTok shop, they're 100% getting affiliate payout. Like yeah. they're doing it on purpose. And so, it's important to observe what Andrew was talking about earlier, about that really authentic approach. Yeah. And being able to pick up on that. But then just writing down like products that you actually find that you could potentially sell. Yeah. Um, and one thing actually that, that has kind of become more important, we're actually working on some a big project right now on this that we'll you know, probably be sharing more with you guys later. But one thing that we, we had a conversation about, maybe you can talk about this a little bit, is yeah. 
how a lot of people say that or a lot of, whether it's even even potential clients that come to us and they're spending money on ads, right? They're like they don't even know either what their ROAS is or what their break-even ROAS is, right? Yeah. And some of these people, even some of the, the you know people who are doing sales every month, they don't even know how to and what to measure and, and how to measure exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah, that's very. Can you true. talk about this this a little bit, like how critical it is that you know yeah. those numbers. Yeah. No, this is something we've talked about a lot recently. And, you know, to us, it's obviously something we do every day. It's second nature to be thinking about this. It's how we measure results and how we're doing, right? Yeah. But it has become pretty apparent to us that. Even people that have already got their foot in the door with starting to run ads, either one, don't know how to read the analytics of the platform, yeah. right, and understand what it is that they're actually looking at. But even if they know what ROAS is, or they know yeah. that they need to look for a, a certain CPA, they don't know what numbers of those CPA CPAs or what ROAS is profitable for them. Yeah. So part of you know ver- verifying the right product, if you did want to do a drop shipping angle, is Understanding your margin and what you have to work with, obviously. How much are you buying it for and then how much can you sell it for? But once you know that margin and you break down, you know, um, factors of, you know, how much ad spend you're going to put down, what commission you have to give up on your shop products and everything. But breaking that down through and through, figuring that out, we've, we've had to, like, sit down with, with some clients and break them through our... Uh, ROAS calculator, and essentially what we mean by that is we're we're putting in that that the cost of the cost of goods, average order value. Um, we break down the payment processing, whether it be on Shopify or you know now with TikTok Shop and everything. Um, but when you run your ads, how much can you spend yeah. on a campaign versus how much money you generate, how much revenue you generate from that campaign is going to equal out to a ROAS or return on ad spend that's going to be profitable for you. So let's say, you know, for example, your break-even ROAS is like 1.3. Or let's say, you know, in an insane world, it was like, yeah, 1 or 1.2 or something. Like, let's say it's 1, even though it's virtually impossible, right? You spend $100, you get $100 back. (laughs) Yeah, virtually impossible, obviously. But that would be a 1 ROAS, right? Now, if you spend $100 and you generated $400, that's four ROAS, right? So let's say your break even's like 1.5 and you're generating three, for example. Maybe 2.5 is where you're profitable after all the ad spend and everything else too. Yeah. So as, as complex as this may sound to a beginner, like knowing that stuff and putting yourself in a position early on after you do all the due diligence to verify the right product, to verify the right market, get all your audience segments sorted, and get some content made, you, you know, you can't just get that figured out and then start spending, right? Yeah. And start posting content. You can post content, obviously, because there's not as much of an investment there. Yeah. But that is one of the most important things and the, one of the things that a lot of our clients just don't think about because yeah. they haven't experienced or had to That's think about it yeah. is knowing what metrics and analytics and KPIs you need to understand to measure your profitability because that's what determines your next steps and whether you can spend more and scale yeah. or what type of creatives to make. And it even goes as far as you might have killer creatives, but your website is super, you know, ugly yeah. <laughs> or it loads super long uh-huh. or, it, you know, the, the shipping costs too much or whatever, right? Like you need to be able to understand that to break down the funnel steps and to know what steps to make. And that's what we've been able to help people with the most lately that I never really had even thought about because it's just something we do every day now. It's our, it's our job, obviously, but yeah. it is interesting to see that people will get that far along and already start spending on ads, but not even know if their campaigns are doing well. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Definitely something to think about. Yeah, numbers are really important, and I think that you know they're talked about on a basic level, but they're definitely not talked about on an advanced level. Yeah, and I think that's important for any business, really, yeah. because. There's also something that I like to call kind of the, the um, I guess the ad spend, or the, I guess it's the initial ad spend factor where you've got to be able to be willing to spend a certain amount in the beginning yes, in order to kind of optimize data. Yeah. And a lot of people will just throw in the towel within 24 hours if they don't get sales in day yep. one. It's like, oh, well, it's a crap product or whatever, right? move to the next one which even experts experts are recommending those same thing yeah and it's like 
Yes, it, hypothetically, in theory, it works mm -hmm. only because you're the amount of volume of products you're testing, you're going to find something that hits yes. day one, right? Yes. Yeah. But it doesn't mean that all these other products that don't make it day one don't work. Exactly. It just means that you don't give it enough time. You may not know how to make good creative. Yeah. And you may not be setting up your campaign correctly. Yeah. You know, because it's just insane to me that like, you know, people are telling you to turn your campaigns off in 24 hours and just have a sale. Like that makes no sense to right. us. That's not the world we live in. Yeah. You know, we have a multi seven figure brand that we do you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a month. Yeah. So it's not like we're speaking out of our ass here. Like right. this is our experience. Now, there's not always one right way to do things, right? right. There's def definitely lots of uh, ways that things can get done. But it is very interesting that um, sometimes campaigns that kill too quickly, and I think that's a mistake um, because you know you may think that you're just not good at finding products, but maybe it's that you just don't know. You're just not even giving it enough time, yeah. right? Like you don't even give it enough time to optimize or, or get any further data. Because even if you're starting on a fresh ad account, it has no clue what your ideal audience is. Yeah, if you run open exactly. campaigns, even interest targeting, the account doesn't even know who you're trying to reach. Yeah. Right? It's like it's like hiring someone for a role that literally knows nothing about the role yeah. and telling them to just work. Like just figure it out. Just just yeah. get me results. But it's like they don't even they don't even fit the job description. And that's when yeah. the ad account's sitting there like sweating bullets, like trying to get you sales, and you're over here like shutting off in twenty four hours and firing them. It's yeah. like it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it's crazy to me that people suggest that you do that. Yeah. So you know, hundred <laughs> percent. It's a great analogy. <laughs> it's true. It you is. Know? Yeah. It really is. So I think that you know, those are kind of some of the things that we've been doing. I know it's not everything. I mean, we could we could talk for hours about we lots could. of different topics within this. Yeah, we need a 10 terabyte memory card in this GoPro to even be able to go that long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess, like, if you guys are... I guess my concluding thoughts before I hand over the baton to Andrew is... My concluding thoughts are that TikTok Shop is an incredible opportunity for both beginners, but also a big opportunity for brands who may be plateauing or yep. struggling to generate profitable revenue. Yep. There are so many people who are not on the platform yet. There's so much money that can still be made and the costs are significantly lower than platforms like Meta. Yep. So yes, you may not fully understand TikTok. Yes, you may not be fully embraced with what TikTok can do for your business, but I guarantee you, no, no, no matter what e-commerce product you sell, it will and can work if you give it enough time and you're actually going to dedicate yourself to figuring out and learning those things. And yeah. we hope that on this channel that you guys can learn from us as we continue to share and teach you guys because that's the whole goal here, right? Yeah. Is to help you guys. And so, you know, you're just one viral video away from being successful or starting to make momentum with TikTok, right? You're one ad away from cracking the code and having a piece of content that you can then iterate on and scale to generate an insane amount of revenue, right? With TikTok Shop, um, especially with the addition of like Amazon coming over, it's going to bring a lot more people to TikTok. Yeah. So no matter who you are, what you sell, you shouldn't not be on TikTok. You should be not prioritizing it. So uh, if you guys have any specific questions on those things, then let us know down below as well. But I'm going to hand over to Andrew for the yeah. chase completing thoughts. No, yeah, I, I just think there's such an opportunity now, and you know, it's it's hard to explain um, just the, the confidence I have in in TikTok right now, and why we're so bullish on it. You know, the support we have through the actual company and the partners we have the constant developments and progressions and new features that they're adding and integrating from, you know, the affiliate center they've built out to live shopping videos to, you know, the, the really cool things they have coming in September. Like it's, it's proving to us that TikTok is, is here to stay. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. And there's only going to be more and more developments they make to further enhance the ability of uh, e-com brands and dropshippers to come on and make money. It, it, it really is something that, you know, I think it's just only going to continue to get better. You know, as the platform grows, as content and everything kind of develops to be more and more, more and more engaging, I think platforms like TikTok are going to be the ones that, you know, are at the top and are going to be so vital for you to be a part of, right? 
I mean, you know, there's still a lot to be said for platforms like Meta and platforms like YouTube, but, you know, platforms like YouTube, for example, aren't directly to sell products on. TikTok has taken the engaging short form angle that everybody loves nowadays and made it to where you can sell products, like very specifically being built for e-conference. Yeah. Like that is their main focus right now is to make it a place where e-conference can generate revenue, you know? So there's just so much potential. It's not going anywhere. We've got tons of confirmation from, you know, their HR and PR team at the event that, you know, it's not something we got to worry about anytime soon. For sure. Uh, and there's just so much exciting stuff coming soon. It really is. Yeah, and I just want to end off, guys, just just go and grab the $2,400 ad credit down below. Like, we, we Yeah, have, you can give it a shot right now. Yeah, it's insane. We, we, we have an exclusive offer. There's about 10 people in the U.S. or so that have this exclusive offer. Yeah, I forget can get to add that. <laughs> $2,400 worth of ad credit. We have a link down below. We have a custom landing page that you know, TikTok has given us to help you guys out and, and to give you guys something you can actually um, utilize to yeah. generate sales, you know? So make sure you go grab the ad credit. We've really enjoyed kind of sharing and, and uh, I guess chatting about TikTok. Yeah. It's fun. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Let us know what we need to call this car ride series too. We need a name. Yeah, right. <laughs> and with that, let's end with the poll. <laughs>